The Tunison Lab of Aquatic Science had some special visitors recently, including the acting director of the U.S. Geological Survey, Suzette Kimball. Researchers at the lab gave an overview of their work, which is largely focused on understanding Great Lakes fish. The work is varied, ranging from identifying species in the laboratory to placing egg blocks in the field. The research is shared with state and tribal partners who use the information in their resource management programs. The Tunison Lab has made great progress in native fish restoration. It raises Atlantic salmon for release in Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River. In 2009, wild Atlantic salmon were observed in New York's Salmon River for the first time in over a hundred years. The Tunison Lab is working towards similar success with lake herring and bloater. Bloater are particularly difficult to raise. Collecting their eggs is challenging because they spawn offshore in February, and feeding them when they're young is tricky because their mouths are too small to eat typical fish food. In order to reduce the risk of disease transfer, all the lab's water is treated with ultraviolet light before being discharged. Thanks for visiting the Tunison Lab of Aquatic Science.